What's good fam? Welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. The month of April was absolutely packed full of releases. A lot of heat drop. Probably my biggest W was the Jordan 1 in the Hyper Royal colorway. Let me know down in the comments what was your biggest W of the month of April. But with that being said, let's move ahead to the month of May. We are getting into the summertime. And in this video, as usual, I will be covering the hottest sneakers that will be dropping in the upcoming month. Let you know which ones are probably going to sell out and also which ones are potentially worth copying just for resale. There is a lot to get to this month, so no more time to waste. Let's get into May the 1st. We will be seeing the Jordan 13 in this red flint colorway. Fans of the Jordan 13 might recognize this colorway. This was a Kevin Martin player edition all the way back in, I believe, 2009. We have never seen this colorway released to the general public before, so definitely fans of the 13 have this date circled on the calendar. I don't think there's gonna be any resale on this sneaker. 13s are just not hype like they used to be, so not something I would cop for resale. Moving on to May the 4th, North America will finally see the release of the Jordan 1 in the patina colorway. We've already seen the shoe drop pretty much everywhere else in the world. This is definitely a very unique colorway on the Jordan 1. It seems like most people are just not a big fan of the colorway just based on how low the resale prices are. I will say, however, I have seen the sneaker in person. I've seen people wear them outside. They do look pretty fire on feet. And from what I heard, the quality on this sneaker is really good. They will definitely sell out. Don't expect the resale prices to be very high though. So this is something that I would just cop to either quick sell or you're gonna be holding it for a pretty long time. On May the 7th, we will be seeing the Jordan 11 in the Legend Blue colorway in North America. This has already dropped in Europe. A very, very clean colorway of the Jordan 11 low, perfect for the summertime. This sneaker, very likely to sell out and you could definitely make some profit if you sell it in your local markets. You got that nice white upper, the icy blue bottoms. It's hard not to like a clean colorway like this. So something to watch out for, the Jordan 11 low in the legend blue colorway. Moving on to May the 8th, the first Yeezy to talk about this month. Surprisingly, a Yeezy 500. This is the 500 and flame. This colorway definitely reminds me a lot of that Yeezy 700 Sun colorway. You got hits of orange, brown, and blue. Yeezy 500, definitely one of my personal favorite Yeezy models. However, it is just not as hyped as some of the other pairs. So don't expect the resale to be very high on this. It's very possible too that this pair also won't be an instant sellout. It will eventually sell out, but 500s just don't have that kind of hype anymore. Also on May the 8th, expect to see the Jordan 7 in the Flint colorway dropping. Jordan 7 is not one of the most popular silhouettes right now so don't expect this pair to sell out however i definitely just wanted to mention it for the jordan 7 fans out there a pretty clean colorway and easy to wear colorway as well dropping on may the 8th the flint 7s another release on may the 8th it is yet another collab between bape and adidas this time on the superstar they've already collabed on the superstar several times before once again, I don't expect much resale on this pair. This one is definitely for the Bait fans. Moving on to May the 10th, the first Nike SB to talk about this month. This is the collab with Stingwater. It is being called the Magic Mushrooms. And you can definitely see that mushroom inspiration all over the shoe. It even has a stash pocket where I guess you're supposed to stash your mushrooms. This is a pair that pretty much symbolizes what Nike SB Dunks are all about. They take a concept and they absolutely go crazy with it. It's not a pair that you're gonna be wearing every day, but it is a very, very fun sneaker. And expect the resale prices on this to be extremely profitable. And once again, that will be released on May the 10th, the Stingwater Nike SB Low. On May the 13th, some more dunks this time of the general release variety. We got the Dunk Low in the Spartan Green colorway. Everybody loves this colorway on the dunks. We saw the high tops release last year. And now we got this super clean colorway released in the low top version just in time for the summer. And also to go along with the Spartan Green on the same day, we will be seeing the Dunk Low in the Michigan colorway dropping. Definitely two of the most popular colorways on dunks, both getting released in the low top expect both of these to sell out and expect a very very decent resale on pretty much every size these will be general release nike dunks though they're not going to be special edition so as i said with many of my reviews so far this year these pairs don't expect the quality to be that good moving on to may the 15th these jordan 1 high in the shadow 2.0 colorway you could even call this i guess the reverse shadows the sneaker is made out of both leather as well as a combination of gray suede 
it's a very clean shoe it's a type of jordan one you can really wear with pretty much anything kind of like the shadows you can definitely expect this clean colorway to sell out and have pretty decent resale between 250 to 300 i would say initially on May the 15th, we will be seeing the Nike Dunk SB High TV Signal. This sneaker definitely makes me feel old because I remember back in the day when we were changing channels and sometimes you couldn't find a channel and you just see these colors on the screen and this really high pitched noise. That's pretty much what you see on the side of the sneaker here. Nike's definitely been getting some inspiration lately from all these old devices. We recently saw the Dunk Low SB camcorder. Now we're getting this TV signal pair. These will definitely sell out and be very profitable. On May the 17th, we will be getting two pairs of Yeezy 500 highs. One is the Sumac colorway, and we will be also seeing this tactile orange pair. Both of these pairs, let's be honest, the colorways look pretty similar. If you guys enjoy Iranian or Persian food, you definitely know what sumac is. It's a spice that you throw on the food. It makes it taste really delicious. I don't expect either of these sneakers to sell out. The timing just doesn't make any sense. This is a sneaker that you want to wear in the fall time. The colorways definitely give me some fall vibes. On May the 20th, we will be seeing the Dunk Low in the University Blue colorway. No guys, this is not a re-release of the Coast colorway that we saw earlier in the year, but they do look almost identical. The only difference being you don't get those hits of orange. This time it's pretty much just an all over blue and white color blocking. But to the average person, it pretty much looks the same. But it goes without saying, a super clean colorway, a very popular colorway. This will sell out. This will probably be one of the most profitable dunks in the month, especially in the girl sizes. You can expect these to be very, very profitable. On May the 21st, I don't know why Jordan Brand is retroing the sneaker, but we will be seeing the Jordan 1 AJKO in the Chicago colorway dropping. The AJKO is like this lightweight version of the Jordan 1. It's made out of canvas. In my opinion, a pretty ugly looking version of the Jordan 1. Jordan 1 brand has been giving us the Chicago colorway on so many silhouettes. We've seen it on the Dunk SBs. We've seen it on the Jordan 1 mids, on the lows. Jordan brand, why don't you just give us what we really want? Just give us those Jordan 1 highs in the Chicago colorway. We definitely didn't need these. On May the 22nd, another Jordan 7, this time the PSG 7s. Jordan brand PSG collabing on many, many different models now. This one, however, because it's a Jordan 7, I don't expect it to sell out, so don't cop this just to resell. We're moving into the end of the month now. May the 28th, we have the Rust Pink Jordan 3 dropping. This is going to be a woman's release, but expect male sizes at least up to a men's 10 and a half. I like this colorway a lot. I know there is a lot of pink on there, but it is a pretty clean shoe if you do like the Jordan 3s. It's a pretty unique colorway too on a 3. Don't expect it to sell out though, and also don't expect there to be much resale on it. And finally, the last sneaker to mention this month. Now, every month I give one sneaker my cop of the month. That is a sneaker that I know I definitely want to add to the collection. And this time we save the best for last. We will be seeing the Jordan 4 in the white Oreo colorway dropping on May the 29th. Jordan fans thought this year we would be getting the retro of the white cement. However, instead we will be getting these white Oreos, a pretty similar colorway to the white cements. Some would argue an even cleaner, even better looking pair. I love this colorway, especially going into the summertime. There's really nothing better than a clean pair of Jordan 4s. These will definitely sell out. It looks like there's gonna be a pretty high stock quantity on them though, so don't expect there to be very high resale. However, there is going to be so much demand for this shoe. This is not going to be an easy cop. So those are all the sneakers so far that have confirmed dates. I just wanted to quickly mention another sneaker that is very much rumored to drop this month. And that is the Travis Scott and Fragment collab on the Jordan 1. We don't know exactly when these will release, but we are seeing so many pictures of the shoe right now, which tells me that we're likely going to see it happen in the next month. The sneaker community seems to be very split on the shoe. Some people say it's one of the hottest releases of the year, while others say that it's the most hype beast looking shoe of all time i'm probably in that second group but my opinion doesn't matter one thing's for sure is that the resale prices on this pair are going to be through the roof probably the highest reselling pair in the month of may but let's see if it happens we don't know let me know down in the comments which is the one sneaker in the month of may that you are most hyped about and if you found this video useful just drop a like on this video it really helps me out it helps the youtube algorithm put this video out to other people it helps out the channel so thank you guys so much for that and that's it thank you for rocking with me i'll see you guys next time peace